Scout Crafter showed us his biggest screwdriver, and it made me wonder, well, how small a screwdriver do I have versus how big a screwdriver do I have? So this is the smallest one, and it's kind of cheating because it's the small one from a nesting screwdriver, but it's what I have. So it looks like it's about one and a quarter inches. All right, so here's the second size, and it is one and three quarter. Next. And the next one is right about three inches. All right, next. So the next one out of a screwdriver set is right about four inches. Next. And the next one up is about six and a quarter. Next. And the next one is about seven and a half. Next. And the next one is about 10. Next. And this one is right about 12 inches. Next. And the next one is about 16 inches. And for the longest time, this was my biggest flathead screwdriver. But not anymore. Next. Now the longest screwdriver I have is, drum roll please. 21 and a half inches long. It is a champion, made in USA, and it is absolutely massive. It is a project. The uh, the handle has a crack from somebody beating on the back of it. But uh, I have a plan. <laughs> I'm going to fix it and clean up the shaft, and uh, it's going to be awesome. All right. So I thought it would be cool to weigh the smallest and biggest screwdriver to compare them. Three grams. And I think the scale had to think about it <laughs> before it even gave it three grams. <laughs> Let's see what the biggest screwdriver weighs. Six hundred and three grams. <laughs> oh my. It weighs six hundred grams more, which is two hundred times the weight. So even though it's uh, only twenty one times as long, it's two hundred times as heavy. So, there you go. My biggest and smallest screwdriver. Well, since I did the flatheads, I figured I might as well do the Phillips too. So, here's my smallest Phillips, four inches. Here's my next size, uh, five inches. Next size up is about six inches. And the next size, up is about seven and a quarter, I think. Roscoe, USA, kind of a different one. And the next size up is about nine inches. And the nine incher is a bridge port. Kind of cool. And my biggest Phillips is this massive, oh, uh, how long is it? 13 inches. There we go. And it's kind of an unusual one. It's called a Big Boy. Made in USA, guaranteed unbreakable. And uh, you can see it's more than a hand of, uh, of handle, so you could put two hands on that if you needed to. So it's a big one. Someone out there has got to have a bigger Phillips than that. Come on, let's see it. So it's kind of hard to get a good look at the at this, but it says number dot zero on the frame here, and then up here there's a eight zero seven, and those are the only uh, marks I can find so far. 
uh, on it. There's no no visible tag or anything anywhere that I could see. So I don't know if it's going to be possible to identify this other than by how it's constructed. So I have to do some research, see if I can figure it out. All right, here's a little motor update. Uh, the motor that came with the the big drill. But I put an old vacuum cleaner cord on it. And uh, check it out. So it's a bit noisy, but it still works. There's no capacitors on this motor. <laughs> so it does draw quite a load when it starts to try to move, but uh, but it works, surprisingly. Alive and well. Well, alive anyway. <laughs>